Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are talking about how you can improve your skin's uh, moisture barrier. The skin's moisture barrier uh, consists of uh, a molecule called uh, ceramide or it consists of that for a very large part. And uh, if you go out and look for face creams, you most likely will find that some creams are having this molecule in them. Uh, so they are these uh, ceramide uh, creams. One of the creams that I have tried years back is uh, one from uh, Elizabeth Arden. It is uh, those um, small uh, ceramide capsules that they have where you break them off and you pour out a little bit of it and add it to your face. What I felt was that um, it worked when it was on my skin, but it was not like if I had used it for a little while, it would have improved my skin so that when those creams were not on my face, it would still look more plumped for perhaps a couple of weeks after. So it was not a lasting effect. It was only an effect I felt that worked when it was directly on my skin. And uh, another thing is that um, it was not exactly cheap. Um, what I would like to do is to boost my own body's production of uh, ceramides. Ceramides is uh, produced in your body by three different uh, pathways. The one I will focus on today is the um, pathway called the uh, de novo pathway. In the uh, de novo pathway, various enzymes are used in order to produce the uh, ceramides. Um, it is so that um, vitamin C will boost the production of those enzymes. The more enzymes you have, the more ceramides will uh, be the end result. Uh, one of the limiting um, enzymes in this process is an enzyme called uh, permitoyl uh, coenzyme A transferase. And what it does is that it uh, is um, combining a permitoyl coenzyme a with uh, an amino acid called uh, L-serine. L-serine you get from your food, you get it from meat, you get it from eggs, and you can get it from various uh, vegetables as well. And uh, one thing you can of course do is that you can take a supplement, so take an amino acid, uh, the amino acid L-serine, as you maybe are taking other uh, amino acids as I am doing and which I have spoken of in other of my videos which I can link to up here so that you can see how I in general are using amino acids uh, for my skincare routine. If you have uh, L-serine in uh, your diet and you are boosting uh, these uh, enzymes that uh, vitamin C is working to boost, you will have the end result of having much more ceramides in your skin barrier. Uh, the um, vitamin C that I use is the uh, less acidic form of uh, vitamin C and that is the uh, magnesium ascorbate. And uh, I will put a link to that uh, below so you where you can uh, find it. And what I take uh, of it every day is as recommended on uh, the package. Now another thing you can also do in order to help your body to produce uh, ceramides is that you can uh, add uh, the vitamin B3 and you will add the vitamin B3 as the um, vitamin uh, niacinamide and this is the one that I use from Swanson and I take two capsules of this every day and that equals one gram of uh, niacinamide. Now, uh, niacinamide is um, boosting the, uh, the way that uh, the enzyme permutoyl coenzyme A transferase is uh, working. And um, the better that works, the more ceramide will uh, be produced. When your body has produced these uh, ceramides, the next step is to mix them with uh, a fatty acid. So the uh, fatty acid that is needed for your skin to make a really good moisture barrier is the uh, fatty acid linoleic acid. Linoleic acid you can get from uh, walnut oil and that is where I get it from and uh, every day I take uh, a tablespoon of the walnut oil that I buy in Waitrose. This is not any particular walnut oil, it is just 
what they had. I actually saw that they only have this one, uh, but I am looking for finding um, a cold pressed uh, walnut oil. And uh, the way uh, the walnut oil works, or more like uh, to say that the uh, particular oil in the walnut oil is the uh, omega-6 fatty acid, linoleic acid. That uh, fatty acid will mix with the ceramides and that will make up your uh, skin barrier. So the better that one works, the less water will evaporate from uh, your skin. And it is so that the more uh, linoleic acid there is in the skin, the better uh, your skin barrier will uh, perform. Now, as I said, I take a, a tablespoon every day and I would suggest that you start with taking a tablespoon every day for perhaps a week or 14 days and you will see uh, a difference in your skin. It will feel a bit more silky, it will feel a bit more uh, oily, but it will not feel oily in the way that if you are afraid that you are having a greasy face or an oily face or too much sebum is being produced, that by uh, taking uh, the walnut oil that you will get an even more greasy appearance. That is not the way it works. It works in the way that your skin's uh, moisture barrier will be improved and by improving that moisture barrier you are locking in more water in your skin more water in your skin and your body will think that it is well hydrated and when your body feels that it is well hydrated hydrated it will produce less sebum and uh, the more water in your skin the less oily appearance you will have so hopefully this is something that will help you to uh, get a less oily skin if you are suffering from having uh, pimples and oily skin this is something that will help clear your skin i don't say that it is the complete remedy for clearing your skin that is not what the video is about i will make another video about how you can improve your skin so you are having less pimples when you are reducing the amount of sebum that your skin is uh, producing this is about how you can keep more moisture in your skin but more moisture in your skin also means that you, your skin is less likely to break out from suffering with uh, dry skin. So if you are having uh, dry skin and uh, you feel that you need to exfoliate like every day or something like that in order to cope with that, I suggest that you try these remedies in order to improve your skin's uh, moisture barrier. Hopefully this is something that will help you. It is relatively inexpensive and it's very inexpensive compared to buying um, creams with ceramides in it and um, so hopefully this is something that will work for you and um, whatever your experience is let me know in the comments below and if you would like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when i upload more of these sort of uh, videos thank you for watching see you bye